Hi, I'm John Nacy, Vice President of Market Development for Rockwell Automation. Rockwell Automation has advocated the connected enterprise as a means to drive higher levels of productivity and global competitiveness throughout your smart manufacturing initiatives. As such, we believe the Internet of Things is going to have a dramatic impact on your adoption of technology and structural alignment to achieve those levels of productivity and global competitiveness. We've teamed up with the MPI Group to sponsor a study across North American manufacturers to see how ready manufacturers really are to adopt these technologies. Please join me in welcoming John Brandt, the principal of MPI, as we review the study. Thank you, John. I'm delighted to be here. I want to share with you some research that we recently completed about the Internet of Things. More specifically, that research was about how ready manufacturers are, or frankly aren't, to implement the Internet of Things within their enterprises, within their operations, within their production facilities, and are they ready right now to begin introducing smart products and products with embedded intelligence. This research was just completed. We did it with 350 manufacturers across the United States, and I think you're gonna find it really interesting. I'll give you a little clue as to what we're gonna talk about. Our executive summary of the results is titled, The Internet of Things Has Finally Arrived. Unfortunately, manufacturers aren't ready. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Manufacturers, are they ready for the Internet of Things? We've heard a lot about it. There's been a lot of hype. We know there's a lot of money being spent. One of the things that we wanted to take a look at about this was are manufacturers ready because of a disturbing finding we got in another study. In late 2014, we did a study of manufacturers in the United States, and what we found was that 46% of manufacturing executives actually said they had no idea what the Internet of Things was. I nearly fell out of my chair. That's why we decided to do this piece of research to figure out, well, if we've got a lot of people who don't know about the Internet of Things, how can other manufacturers be ready for it? What we wanted to do, though, was do something a little bit differently than most research out there. A lot of research looks at one side, machine-to-machine -machine communications, machine-to-enterprise. The other side of the house, they look at, well, smart products, intelligent products, what's going on there. We wanted to look at how ready manufacturers are on both sides. We wanted to look in general, are they ready for the Internet of Things? Are they aware of it? How are they taking the Internet of Things and embedding it into their processes, into their operations, into their production, into their offices within their facilities? And also take a look at, are they ready right now to start developing, introducing, and profiting from Internet of Things enabled products? And what we found was really interesting. So we're gonna to get to that. I wanna talk about five things. We're gonna talk about general awareness of the IoT. We're gonna talk about, are they using it within their processes? Are they using it within products? We're then gonna talk about some deeper dive issues of particular interest around security, et cetera. And then we'll talk a little bit about who actually took the survey for us. So let's talk about Internet of Things readiness within the facility. And what's really interesting here when you take a look at this data is that a lot of manufacturers are not getting the joke yet. When you look at this, what you see is that only 17% of manufacturers said it's gonna have a significant impact on their business. You actually had over a third of the manufacturing executives we looked at say that it was gonna have a limited or no impact on their business. Now that's a really big deal because this was a study that was pretty representative of US manufacturing. So if that's out there, if we've got over a third who say it's not gonna be necessarily a big deal, that's an issue, especially when you correlate that with some of the other responses that we got. When you take a look at, have you implemented an, an IoT strategy? The vast majority have not. You've got only 12% who have a strategy in place. You've got a huge number. You've got 37% who say, no, we don't, we don't have a strategy and we're not gonna develop one. Which is really interesting because what I'm gonna tell you later on is that despite the fact that a majority of manufacturers don't have a plan in place and working right now, they are all expecting to spend a lot more money on it over the next two years and they're all expecting magically to get profits out of it within the next five years. One of the big issues that we see that is holding people back, and there are a number of them, but one of the big issues is that as manufacturers start to look at the Internet of Things and start to figure out how can we use this in our facilities, how can we create new products, they are discovering that unbeknownst to them, they have actually had two technology departments for years, maybe decades. Everybody's familiar with the information technology department. What they're finding is that they also have an operations technology department that runs the software that does the machinery, the automation, et cetera. And what we're finding over and over again is that as they discover that they've got these two departments, they're finding that they don't get along. 
There's only a few things where even half, at half of companies, these IT and OT departments actually collaborate. And when you take a look at that, it becomes not just a technology issue that is holding companies back, there is a cultural issue because there is this divide between operations technology and between information technology. So let's take a look then at some of the processes for these folks. And what we see is that when you look at the, our manufacturers right now doing this within their facilities, what you see here, at the median, about 25% of plant processes right now are being managed via the Internet of Things, smart devices, embedded intelligence. The striking thing, though, is what manufacturers say is going to happen in the next two years. And over the next two years, what they are telling us is that they are going to increase the investment in this dramatically because they are expecting that 76% are gonna increase significantly the number of processes within their facilities that are managed in this way. We see similar results when we look at the, um, the office, and we'll get to that in a minute. Now, where are they putting in these internet-enabled processes? In general, the, the low-hanging fruit, the, the, the first opportunities seem to be in warehouse opportunities, logistics, shipping, et cetera. And when we look then at the office, we see manufacturers, again, about 25% of processes right now seem to be managed uh, at, the, uh, at the median, seem to be managed with, via the Internet of Things. But once again, we've got a dramatic number, close to two thirds of manufacturers say that they are going to increase this dramatically over the next several years, which is really interesting given the fact that most of them don't actually have a strategy or a plan developed. And the hard part is the fact that we see over and over again that despite manufacturers kind of having this vague understanding that there's a real opportunity there, they are not yet set up to do this. When you take a look at this data behind me, this is terrifying in some ways. They're gonna to have to build out an IT, OT infrastructure. What you see is you've got 40% are either gonna need significant upgrades or a complete network overhaul for them to do machine to machine communications. You see a similar thing, 49% are going to have the same thing for machine to enterprise communications. So it's incredibly difficult right now for manufacturers to take a look at that if they want to do this going forward. So why do manufacturers do this? Many of the same reasons they're implementing the IoT that they would implement for any other reason. You know, speed, uh, product quality, just all the standard uh, sort of things that you would do within an operation that those are the reasons they're doing it. When we look at this, one of the things that is interesting, when we say, what are, the biggest, what are the biggest obstacles that you face? What are the things that are causing you the most angst and the most trouble in trying to develop this and trying to develop a strategy here? And what you see, if you look at this behind me, and you're gonna see this again with products, is that the single biggest problem that manufacturers face with the Internet of Things is we don't know what we should be doing. And it's not a lack of imagination, it's in general a lack of knowledge. There's this, as I say, in inchoate understanding that this is going to be important, but we don't yet know exactly how we're gonna use it. So there's a huge opportunity for manufacturers to move forward here. There's frankly a huge opportunity for people who work with manufacturers to help them out with this because some of it's just ideation, imagination, showing people examples of how the Internet of Things can work. Now, we've got this inchoate understanding We've got this sense that, you know, we should be doing it, nobody really has a plan, and yet then you take a look at the data for manufacturers for how they are going to increase their investments over the next two years, and what you see is a dramatic increase. Take a look at this. You have got their practically, what is that, 77% of manufacturers say that they're going to increase their investments in the IoT within their plants and facilities over the next two years. That is a dramatic percentage, but it's a really scary percentage when you think that many of these manufacturers don't yet have a strategy or a plan for how they're gonna do that. Now, when we ask people who are, the, who are the ones who are gonna lead this strategy, in general, it's operations people, sometimes it's cross-functional. Uh, you can take a look at that data down the list. And then one of the other things that we've been taking a look at is that one of the things that the IoT does, it obviously makes business go faster, it obviously also increases risk in a variety of ways. If you've got aging controllers, PLCs, you've got a geometric increase in the number of access points for hackers, but probably one of the bigger issues is that many companies do not have a BYOD, a bring your own device policy. And so they've got people who are now able to access sensitive confidential data on their own devices. And if you don't have a policy, you can't be really 
taking a, a hard look at security there. And so that's an issue right there. Now, here is the sort of the, the third leg. They're, they don't, they know it's important, they don't have a plan, but are investing, and guess what? Everybody's gonna make more money. It's like magic. Even though there's no plan, everybody knows that two thirds of them say that by doing this within their facilities, they're going to increase profitability over the next five years. And that I think is exciting, but it's also problematic because if you don't have a plan, but you're throwing money at it, that's not normally a path toward becoming more profitable. So now let's take a look at how manufacturers are doing with internet enabled products. Are they introducing smart devices, products with embedded intelligence? Are they doing any better than they are in terms of planning, spending, et cetera, um, than with their internet enabled processes? And the overall news is no, they're not. Because when you take a look at this data, what you see is that right now they're still kind of sorting through their opportunities with internet enabled products. You've got a lot of people who have either limited or no plans. You've got 60% there and they're kind of embedding them for the, for the re normal reasons, you know, improve with customers, et cetera. We also ask people, we said, okay, if you are looking at this, if you're thinking about internet enabled products, why are you doing it? And in general, people are doing it for their own products. There are some companies that are doing it for products for others, they're being compelled to, et cetera. But really people are focusing right now when they are focusing on their own products. The reason they're doing it, kind of standard reasons. You know, when we looked at uh, the processes, it's like the you know speed, quality, time to market. Here it's revenue and market share. Those are the reasons that people are doing this. People understand that the market is moving this way. And even if they don't have a dedicated plan yet, they know they've got to be thinking about it right now. In terms of why they aren't moving faster, uh, again, I, I love this because it is exactly the same percentage of those in terms of their internet enabled processes. What's holding you back? What is stopping you? Identifying opportunities and benefits of IoT products. Again, it is a lack of knowledge, a lack of ideation, a lack of imagination, a lack of examples of how companies should be doing this right now. There is such an opportunity for manufacturers and yet most manufacturers are just throwing up their hands when you ask them and saying, we know we gotta do this, but we aren't quite sure yet what we should be doing. Now just like in their facilities, just like in their plants, manufacturers are ready to throw money at this. Because take a look at these numbers here. What you've got in terms of investments over the course of the last year, fairly minimal. You say, well, what are you gonna do over the next two years? And what you see is the vast majority, two thirds are gonna increase significantly the amount of money that they're putting into internet enabled products, smart products, embedded intelligence in products. So, Manufacturers know it's important, they're gonna spend more money, and guess what? Just like the magic that we saw with internet-enabled processes, even though there's not really a plan, and they're gonna throw a lot of money at it, they know, know, know that they're gonna become more profitable. Take a look at that. We've got 63% of manufacturers who say that the application of the Internet of Things to their products is going to improve profitability over the next five years. It's magic, it's just, it's wonderful. Except we need to see if there are gonna be plans in place. So we took a look at that. As, as you know, Rockwell uh, Automation was a sponsor of the study and we did some things with them and they had some specific questions that they wanted to ask and I thought they were really interesting. So we did ask of these 350 manufacturers. We said, is the Internet of Things right now impacting inventories? And what we found is that in general, yes, there is some modest impact right now on improving inventory management. You can see that right there. We then also ask, okay, among the problems that you have within operations, what is the biggest issue you have? And not surprisingly, what we found from these folks is that finding actionable data. I mean, we all know that we are flooded with data every day. There are torrents of data just running through our facilities, running through our operations. It's not the data, it's finding insight, it's finding actionable data. Next after that was capabilities, the skills and the tools then to leverage that data. So this is gonna be an incredibly key point going forward as IT and OT start working together, the information technology, the operations technology. It's not just making everything work, it's figuring out how do we create dashboards, how do we create insights, how do we create actionable intelligence so that even though we've got the Internet of Things and facilities kind of running themselves, we can make intelligent decisions in real time or close to real time. We also ask, is the Internet of Things, does it improve security? 
And what we found is that people were saying, yes, actually, when you take a look at that, it does really improve the security of business systems and information if it's done right. We also ask, what are the key attributes of vendors? You can imagine why Rockwell would be interested in that. And what we found is that, not surprisingly, reliability, quality, quality and cost are the most important things that people told us for picking a vendor to help them working with the Internet of Things and that strategy. So that's what we found in the study. I know some of you uh, may be interested in exactly who we talked to. So when we take a look at the profile of participants, you know, it was, uh, again, it was fairly representative of U.S. manufacturing. You take a look at that. About 40% were public, 60% private. Generally, they had been in business for a long time, 84% of them over 20 years. We had a nice mix of companies. We actually had a nice chunk of companies who were over a billion dollars in revenue. So that was really interesting to see that. These were U.S. executives, but most of these companies, because they were of scale, many of them had facilities elsewhere in the world that you can take a look at. And we also asked them, how much progress had you made toward world-class manufacturing status? And it was really interesting. We had about 12% who said they'd fully achieved it, and almost 40% who had made significant progress. When we asked them a couple of other questions, just in terms of their profile, is that, you know, why are you doing any kind of improvement activity? You know, not just the Internet of Things, but other things, maybe lean, other improvement methodologies. What we found is that, in general, they were doing the things you would expect. They were trying to improve customer satisfaction, trying to improve productivity, trying to improve quality, speed, time to delivery. And when you look at the industry mix of those who participated with us, we had a really good mix of participants from a wide array of industries, and they sold into a wide array of markets. In closing, what I'd like to say to you is that the, this is a really exciting time for manufacturing. I think there's a real opportunity for manufacturers to make a difference in their businesses and the way they operate their enterprises, not just on the production floor, but throughout their operations, throughout all their facilities, offices, etc. There is an enormous opportunity for smart products, products with embedded intelligence. The issue that we're seeing right now is that there are a few firms, and we're doing some analysis right now, the innovators in the, in the Internet of Things who are getting it right who are figuring out how to do this, who have a plan, who are investing going forward. They are the ones who are likely to be the ones who profit. We also have two other groups that we're looking at here. We have the incipients, and these are people who have got an idea about what they might want to do, don't really have a plan yet, and then we've got what we call the indifference, which are those who just really are ignoring it and they're ignoring the digital future that's about to happen. The issue and the concern that I have is that when we look at manufacturing in terms of the Internet of Things or Industry 4.0 or whatever you want to call it, is that there is likely to be a digital divide between the haves and the have-nots in manufacturing over the next five to ten years. And those firms who are the have-nots who ignore this and don't have a plan, don't invest in it, and don't figure out how to do this are likely to be left behind in terms of market share and in terms of profitability. It is my hope that everybody taking a look at this video and everybody out there takes a serious look at how they're going to implement the Internet of Things within their firms because this will be a competitive advantage and a competitive decider over the next five to ten years. I wish all of you luck and thank you very much. Thanks, John. That was great. As you can see from John's presentation, you're considering IoT in your manufacturing environment. You understand that it's going to open up new business processes and potential profit lines for you and we're here to help. Rockwell Automation has deployed the connected enterprise strategy across its own company and many other industries at the same time. By doing so, we've improved our customer service, improved profitability, and time to market at the same time. We can do that for you, and we believe that you're gonna need help from a strong partner to do so. As I said, IoT is coming fast, digital manufacturing is coming fast, and you need partners that can really help you figure this out and work through your existing strategies to deploy for the future. Give us a call or look us up on the web, rockwellautomation.com slash connectedenterprise.